Hello and welcome back to Building on a Budget Models. I'm Thomas and this is the first part of the Tyrrell P34 six-wheeler in 120th scale by Tamiya. I'm going to start with the engine. Here's the Ford Cosworth DFV from the Tyrrell March 701 which I was using for a bit of inspiration. This car came a few years before then driven by Jackie Stewart. Now the intake trumpets are from the chrome spruce so I sanded off a bit of the uh, chrome to help that adhere. This sort of section here was done in gunmetal with a bit of silver on the uh, sort of wiring parts on top. And then I left the intake trumpets in chrome. Then comes with this lovely uh, wire to add the ignition cables. Cut these to uh, nine centimeter lengths. I did see a different version of this where someone cut them to 18 centimeter lengths instead in order to double them up. But uh, this is the way that uh, you're advised to do it in the instructions. Then they're threaded through this um, section here can be quite difficult to do the last ones but they get there in the end and this will all glue on top of the engine later on. Now I look at the instructions here but I also looked at a newer version of the instructions. This is from the 1977 version because this has got paint codes and also much more detailed painting instructions. Look on a website like Scalemates if you want to find out more about things like that. It was then time to start building the V8 engine. When this kit was first released, it was also available with a motor, as many 1970s Tamiya kits were. This is part of the reason why Tamiya F1 cars were 120th scale, as 124th scale wouldn't fit the motor. Most of these are painted either silver or aluminium, removed a little bit of the paint from the joins so that the Tamiya Extra Thin works well. Considering this engine is so old, this went together really nicely. You could uh, instead just put all this together before painting it and then just paint it all silver or aluminium or gunmetal or whatever it is that the instructions call for. This was done in semi-gloss black and then I've got this Posca paint pen. This one is in silver to do the Ford lettering on the side of it. Pretty happy with that. Then went over the other one and some of the screw heads. Made sure that that dried before gluing it to the engine itself. And then fit the intake trumpets onto the top. However, it is very important to add this section here with the wires before adding both of them. In fact, the 1977 instructions advise leaving the trumpets until right at the end. Then came to wire them. The instructions recommend trimming the wires, but I found that you didn't need to do that. You could also add a little bit of glue to help keep them in place, but I didn't need that either. Next, it was time to do the transmission. Firstly, there's this frame that goes underneath, which needs to be in semi-gloss black and aluminium. Now the gearbox, it advised gunmetal, however when I'd looked at examples of the real car it seemed to be lighter than that, so I chose to do it in silver. Top of the transmission all fits in really nicely. The brake discs were done in iron and then the uh, calipers in semi-gloss black. Interestingly the brakes aren't inside the wheels, instead they're right next to the transmission themselves. The 
then for this section here I do advise looking at a newer set of instructions as the paint in callouts in the original instructions is pretty poor. These air intakes were done in gloss black. I think they were there to cool down the brakes. Make sure this clips into that frame at the bottom. Connecting the exhaust pipes is very complicated, so look very closely at instructions if you can. There are two that go together first. Use poly cement rather than super glue, as the super glue can fill up the gaps and make it harder to join together. And then once you're happy with that, curve the smallest one around the back. And then the final one goes onto the top. Adjust the position of the pipes whilst the poly cement is still curing so that you can ensure that the ends of the pipes are all lined up and meet the holes in the engine block. I recommended doing this in black, but I decided to do it in silver and then weather it afterwards. Let me know in the comments what you think and what you would have done. In fairness, the one on the real engine was quite sort of uh, smoky colour, but um, I'm pretty happy with how this has turned out. So then I used this Tamiya weathering powder, I used this burnt orange and brush that quite liberally over the top. Try to be careful not to get it on other parts of the engine. Now then you've got this vinyl hose as well, which needs to be cut into uh, three centimeter lengths, I think. Check the instructions though, I'm not 100% certain. And one goes on either side like so. Now I found that these holes here just weren't big enough, so taking a little one millimeter drill bit really was useful. Then these pipes went in a lot easier. These suspension parts were quite difficult. I found that because they linked both to the transmission suspension and also the engine. Um, they needed to be sort of constantly sort of adjusted as you put these two pieces together. As you can see here, this one fell off, so I then had to readjust it manually. It's important to make sure that all this suspension is uh, really nice and straight because otherwise you'll have one wheel higher than the other. Then the exhaust pipes sort of thread through. I'd already weathered these before putting them in place. And the sort of exhaust tip section here had one of them broken off, found it in the box and glued it on afterwards. Transmission is then all closed up. Now this section here, um, I'm forcing it because it turns out I put it on upside down. I did later realize and correct this mistake. Now then I wanted to cover the intakes with this kind of mesh. So I was recommended to buy these uh, pipe screens for tobacco pipes. Uh, these are two centimeter wide and they're made of a very fine metal mesh. I sort of curved it over into a sort of sausage shape. 
and then fold it over the bottom using um, a brush like so. Then I found that that went on quite nicely. You can also buy proper parts like this. Anyway, there's the engine and here it is with the little intake covers as well. Thanks a lot for watching. Please leave a comment down below. Please do like, share and subscribe and I'll see you soon.